Yes, turn it up. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik, just a former SIRS agent in a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. All right, let's hear it. And when you've got a moment, Give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are, and I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look. The decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Agreed. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. Haitian Minister of Foreign Affairs Samuel Toussaint was arrested in front of his hotel in London today. Documents linking Toussaint to the embezzlement of millions of pounds in earthquake relief funds were made public by the hacker group DedSec. Toussaint is now in custody awaiting extradition to the United States. This is where that journalist mysteriously vanished while she was looking into SIRS mysteriously vanishing people. Probably can dig up something good if we check it. I thought we might be able to get ahead of those Stasi wannabes at SIRS, but I'm seeing signs of a struggle. I've tagged a few pieces of evidence that I can analyze more closely if you get me some high resolution stills. It looks like there's something interesting under that car. Move it so we can have a closer look. Tire tracks left relatively recently. 24.9 inch diameter, common size for a large chassis vehicle like a truck or a van. No,
Someone spray painted the security cameras. A notepad file is open. Looks like a journalist's. I've added a transcript to your data drive. We know she was here, at least. Thanks, Bags. Shit. What now? Oh, calm down. Did you think I had you take all those photos for my invite feed? If you find the CTOS hub, I can cross-reference the stills you took with the security feed and isolate the moments before the journalist was taken. It may contain a clue. Acknowledged.
Found it. Here is the image just as the camera was blacked out. Notice the van in the background. The partial license plate number indicates this is a government vehicle. Huh. Interesting. This confirms the journalist was most likely abducted by SIRS. You know who might know where an SIRS operative would take a questionably legally detained journalist? Another SIRS operative. I've got Malik on the line. I don't trust him. Do you have to? I suppose I might have an agenda. Then again, I might just be bored. Yeah, and your point? Look closely at the paint in the security still. It's not commercial. That's Kark paint. Chemical resistant. Military. Do you remember earlier when you saved me from Albion? Fuck you! Oh, come on, that was fun. Anyway, I didn't want the day to be a waste, so I installed a worm in their comms equipment that fed me, among other things, data on their supply requisitions. I just gave Bagley access to it. Looks like Albion just ordered a crate of cark paint in that colour to the Albion internment centre. Pushing the coordinates now. This is the Albion Internment Center. That journalist who was investigating the SIRS illegal kidnapping program should be inside.
help me. We are here to protect you, citizens of London. Please, help! <coughs> Get her out. Movie. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Look, we can work something out. Protect you, citizens of Looks like you avoided them. I owe you my life, truly. Whoa! Thanks for your help and everything, but we have to keep this short. If I can't get out of this country tonight, I am colossally buggered. Well, I'm with DedSec. How can we help? All right, then. Maybe you can help. You see, Sir's found a legal loophole that's let them arrest you for anything they want. Did your butler's beagle have its hair cut by the same groomer as one of the tone bombers? Well, then sirs can arrest you without a warrant, and the snoopers charter makes it legal. How does that work? Ever since London got on CTOS, sirs has full access to every email, every phone call, every CCTV stream, everything. When you give over that level of information to the government, the question isn't how could they do it, it's how could they not? Cool. I mean, that's bad. Look, here's an address. Someone will meet you there with a new passport. Once the journalist makes it to safety, I'll make DedSec resources available to her so she can finish her story. Good thinking, you clever bot. <laughs> 